I'm Liz Campbell. I'm a wildlife conservation researcher at the University of Oxford and also the coordinator of the Born to be Wild program here in Morocco. And we're conducting a study on the genetics of the Barbary macaque across their entire distribution in Morocco. And how this uh, genetic map is going to help in the conservation of the Barbary macaques? First of all, the genetic map that we're creating will be able to tell us when a monkey is poached and is rescued we'll be able to say where that's coming from. That's going to help us identify any locations that are hot spots for poaching so that we can increase our anti-poaching efforts in that area. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it'll help us identify the genetic health of the population. This will help us to identify certain populations that may be very small and isolated and inbred that might need extra conservation efforts. And it will tell us which populations may be a little more healthy and maybe need less focus. Thirdly, it will help us to identify strategies for reintroduction. So monkeys that have been confiscated from the illegal trade, there's the potential to reintroduce them from the wild. Mm. But the question is, do you want to put them back where they came from? In which case you need to know where that is. So that's okay. where a genetic map will come into play. So we can know this monkey came from this population. But also if it's very inbred in another area, there's the potential that you might actually want to put it into a different population to increase their genetic diversity. So we're now five weeks into the project. The work has been going really well so far. We've been sampling populations a lot faster than I'd expected. We already have over 300 samples, which is fantastic. The goal is we are going to be sampling a total of 18 subpopulations throughout Morocco. The habitat of the Barbie macaque is very fragmented, so they do live in these isolated populations. Within that, it's further fragmented into these subpopulations. So our goal is to get 30 individuals from each of these 18 subpopulations for a total of about 450 individuals throughout all of Morocco. Hello, I'm Elisa, I'm 26 years old and I'm coming from Spain. Now I'm here in Morocco doing the project with IFAO and App, uh, doing the genetic map of the Barbary macaque. I, I study biology and then I do the master in primatology. And here I'm going to do at the same time of the project, I'm going to do my thesis for the master. So I'm really happy to have the opportunity to do this here. So the first thing we had to do during the day is find a group to have samples from them. And in the moment that we find a group like this, uh, we start a track to, to know uh, all the movements that they are doing during the day, which is the home range. And so then we have in the GPS all the information for the group. Hi, my name is Alina. Um, I'm from the United States. I'm 22 years old. Um, I came here because I worked with monkeys in the past and I really wanted to work with monkeys in the wild. And my favorite part about this job is being in the forest and um, interacting with the monkeys and watching them um, in their natural environment. Uh, so when we first get to a group, we want to make sure that it's a group that we haven't done before. So um, we'll try to identify an individual that is, has very unique characteristics, um, such as uh, different colorations or scars or tears, um, old injuries and things like that. Um, and when we find a monkey like that, we know that we um, have or have not done this group before. And then we can start following them around and collecting samples. Okay, so I'm Thibaut. Uh, I'm 26 and I come from France. Uh, I studied uh, like general ecology uh, in the, the south of France in a town named Montpellier. I wanted to experience uh, a volu voluntary position in ecology. Also, I, I've already been in Morocco uh, three years before and uh, I, I already knew uh, Liz. So uh, when I saw that that, that position was uh, available, I just uh, applied for it because uh, I was interested in going back to Morocco and working with the monkeys. 
Okay, so now I'm collecting a monkey sample, which is basically monkey poop. Uh, once you have identified your monkey, you start following him and you want to be very careful you don't lose him because you don't want to miss the moment where he's gonna poop. Join us.